Gold Candlestick Chart The Best Investment for Future These are the best options available to invest in gold. Sovereign Gold Bond These are traded on NSE and BSE issued by RBI. Digital Gold Purchased using Paytm, GPay, PhonePay The funds are invested in gold refining and minting companies like MMTC PAM. Gold ETF Exchange Traded Fund Funds are collected from public and invested in securities and refining companies. Gold Mutual Fund Funds are invested in ETFs, therefore the expense ratio is high. Physical Gold Like bullion and coins, storage risks and costs. Now, let's compare and check which option is best for you. 1. Brokerage and STT charges 0. Brokerage, other charges are negligible with discount brokers like Upstocks and Zero da. 2. Expense Ratio 0.5 to 1% for gold ETF 0.5 to 1.5% plus 0.5 to 1% for gold mutual fund 3. Storage and GST Digital gold has making and delivery charges if required and 3% GST Physical gold has storage risks and costs and 3% GST 4. Exit Load 1-2% to 2 for Gold Mutual Fund if sold before 1 year 5. Effective Return equals assuming 45% returns for Gold in 5 years, minus tax and expenses 42% Effective Returns after tax for Physical Gold and Digital Gold 40% Effective Returns after 5% Expense Ratio for Gold ETF 35% Effective Returns after 10% Expense Ratio for Gold Mutual Fund Sovereign Gold Bond 57.5% Effective Returns, including 2.5% Interest, for 5 years 6. Gold Purity, Liquidity and Minimum Investment Physical gold is less pure, highly liquid, and requires a minimum investment of 0.5 to 1 gram. Digital gold has high purity, highly liquid, and requires a minimum investment of 1 rupee. Gold ETF has moderate liquidity, and 1 gram minimum investment. Gold Mutual Fund is highly liquid, and requires a minimum investment of 500 rupees. Sovereign Gold Bond is moderately liquid, with minimum investment of 1 gram. 7. Tenure, Loan, and Delivery Physical Gold has unlimited exit period, coins less than 50 grams for loan, and delivery is possible. Digital Gold has 5 to 7 years exit period, no loan, and 0.5 to 1 gram minimum for delivery. Gold ETF has unlimited exit period, no loan, and 1 kilogram minimum for delivery. Gold Mutual Fund has unlimited exit period, no loan, and no delivery. Sovereign Gold Bond has 8 years exit period, loan is possible, and no delivery. 8. Buying and Tax 
Physical Gold, has LTCG after 3 years, purchased from dealers and banks. Digital Gold has LTCG after 3 years, purchased using Paytm, GPay, PhonePay, Gold ETF, has LTCG after 3 years, purchased from Zerata, Upstocks and others. Gold Mutual Fund, has LTCG after 3 years, purchased using Grow, Paytm, Zerata Coin. Sovereign Gold Bond, has LTCG after 5 years, purchased using Banks, Post Office and demand account. Sovereign Gold Bond is the best, in terms of returns, safety, and loan. Considering minimum investment of 1 rupee and high liquidity, digital gold is also a very good option. Subscribe to our channel to learn how to trade the market. Thank you.